Hi Leo and welcome to your mid-June to mid-July 2021 um, general reading and this is for singles. It's a singles love reading for those singles out there that are looking for love or looking for a partner or looking for you know a friendship that can turn into something else. It's your um, if, if you don't want to be alone and, and through going through everything alone and want some guidance then this is for you this is for those that are born July 23rd to August 22nd and um, this will not resonate with every single one of you so please check what um, check your moon and rising signs if you would like additional information and uh, you may get more answers to if you have questions or whatever if this doesn't do it for you check your moon and rising signs Anything you need is in the description below. How to check your moon and rising signs. I recommend astro.com and I've put the link below. Um, it's a free site. And speaking of sites, welcome to my channel. This is Force for the Trees. I really appreciate you being here and trusting me with your reading and trusting and giving me your time and, and you know, trusting me with your energies and time because we all know how precious time is, right? So I really appreciate you all. I just want you to know that. Um, I've been a tarot reader for probably a, over 20 years. This is a new format for me. So, um, I just decided why not, right? All right. So, i put this over here. This is for Leo. This is for mid-June to mid-July. Singles reading. Love reading. 2021. Wow. We have the unknown card. All right. Scooch these down a little bit. These all wanted to come and play today. We have one extra. We were gifted the Nine of Pentacles. We'll take it. They told me to look at the bottom of the deck. So you had the moon card. So this is a card. This could be something cyclical. This could be something that comes in seasons for you. This could be something that... Um, I'll put that right there so you can see it. Something that um, comes in a, a cycle, a season, um, or a, you know, comes around again. It could be a person. Um, it could be a person that comes around again, you know, like you might have a significant other and you all broke up and then kind of like clockwork it's august and here comes so and so you know type that type of energy so that's kind of telling you to um beware of that 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 cycle may continue and again you're in charge of it you're in charge of that cycle you're in charge of how you um react to this person coming back in if you want this person to come back in it's totally up to you you know if you like this person then it's a heads up, they may be coming back in. If you don't like this person, then a heads up, they may be coming back in. But again, it's up to you how you are going to interpret it and how you want to handle the situation. This can also be a card of deceit and it can also be a card of um, deception or something hidden, something going on behind the scenes or something being kept in the dark about something. All right, so we have front and center to this that, that really caught my eye is the unknown card. And this is, I'm not quite sure because this is, um, let me see if I can find the book really quick. I think it's kind of like whatever you want to manifest, you can manifest type. It's not a traditional tarot card. I don't know if it's the first card or bear with just a second because I don't want to tell you wrong. It's a little bit since I've read with this deck. And, um, okay, it says the Crystal Visions deck includes an unknown card. It represents an answer that's not yet meant to be revealed. It can signify something from the past that may, what did I say? That may not, that one may not fully understand or something that will happen soon. Whatever the unknown card falls within a spread will indicate what area still needs to unfold and that the further steps need to be taken in order to clarify the bigger picture. Um, it can signify the importance of one looking deeper into the issue. Um, it can also represent the importance of moving forward with an open mind and with that bias. So 
you know, what you need to, again, decide where you want to move, how you want to move forward in, in your um, relationship. It's, I almost feel like, and I could be wrong, um, I haven't really even had a chance to look at the cards yet. Um, but I almost feel like you have a person from your past that maybe keep coming back to you. And it's like when they're not in your life, you move forward with your life. You move ahead with your life. You move, uh, you know, things are good. Everything's good. And then they come back and it's like they take you from... You know, just say right now in, in 2021 to 1992 or 198, you know, 2020 or whenever you all met, you know, they take you right back to that time. And I don't think this, this person is a very good uh, influence on you. I don't think they're a very good, good, uh, I think they might think they are, but I'm not quite sure they are. So just a heads up on that. So the unknown, it's um, maybe getting answers to something that you are asking about you know she's looking into the crystal ball this is in reverse so possibly um right now for right this here and now the answers may not um be coming to you or there may may be a hold on the answers or a pause on the answers but there is enlightenment there's wisdom in this card so this might be telling you too to dig a little deeper in what you are trying to manifest you know um it's kind of like if we are trying to manifest a partner, then think about what you want. You know, think about what you want in this partner and not just say, I, I just want anybody because then anybody can show up. You know what I'm saying? All right. So we start off with the seven of pentacles in reverse. And this is talking about, again, you know, maybe wanting something, but might not be wanting to put in the work involved in it. You might be a little... Um, Lazy is not the right word. A little um, passive um, about it. You might, you might be okay. You might be at the mindset of, you know, I'm really not looking right now. But if somebody comes along, then that's fine. That type of energy I can get from the Seven of Pentacles easily. Um, this is a card too where you might be in your work more. You might be doing, you know, you might be putting your energies more into work and doing what you like to do and making, you know, maybe making money. You also have that with the Nine of Pentacles, which was that last card that chose to come out with you. You have that with the Nine of Pentacles about abundance of money and abundance of uh, growth and abundance of material things. It's like you're, you're in a really good place. Not that you need somebody to quote unquote take care of you. You don't need that. You know, it's like you can take care of yourself. You have your own protection. You know what to do. You don't need somebody to take care of you. That's not what you're looking for. You're looking for a partnership, but you're not really, I don't know if you're really looking. You might be just feeling, again, if it happens, it happens. I'm not really going to invest too much time and, and energy into it. And that could be why that unknown card's in reverse because it's like, you know, you kind of have to put out to the universe what you're looking for in order to manifest it. You do have the hangman card. And this is a card about enlightenment. This is a card of being still going within. Really taking the time for you. Um, thinking about... Kind of what your next moves are going to be. How you want to present yourself. It's really going inward and taking time for you. Gaining enlightenment. It, it could, you could be doing some research. You could be, um, you could be on a dating site. And on the dating sites, you know, if you meet these people, you could be doing background checks on them. I mean, you could be really putting your work in if that's what you're doing right now. But I think I still think you're taking more of a passive approach right now. And maybe this is your you your you time your time to heal. We also have the star card which is another major arcana card. And those are life events. Those are things happening. And a star card is a card about self-care. It's about healing. It's also a, a wish card, you know, um, as the saying goes, when you wish upon a star. So you do have that, um, you know, she's kind of dipping her toe in the water. So you might, you might have that, um, I might try this out. Again, if it's a dating site or something like that, you might be like, I might give it a go. We'll see what happens, you know. But you, you're not going to really put too much effort into it. I'm not feeling like you're putting too much effort into, into it. You don't really want to invest too much time and money into it. Um, I, don't, I think you're a busy person. And I, I don't know if you have, um, you know, 
a, a lot of time, a lot of free empty time on your hands. You do have the Knight of Wands coming in, and the Knight of Wands is again. I th I go kind of with this card. This is this is a, a younger energy. It is a knight, so it is somebody that is uh, coming in. Um, passion. There's a lot of passion associated with this knight. Uh, they are a great person. Like if you need help, this person's there. They'll help you if if you know uh, they're there to do what they do. But then they leave. It's like. Um, the Knight of Wands has a tendency to kind of be that person that comes in and out of your life, in and out of your life. And that's where I was getting with the moon card, uh, the, the cycles, the cyclical part, you know. Um, we already talked about the unknown card, being clear about what you want or not being clear what you want. And, and if you're not clear about what you want, you may be in this, this pause position. You may be in this um, stag not a stagnation, but it's, it's like a pause. It's like you put yourself on pause. But we have the Ace of Wands, so we have new passion coming in. We have new. Um, it could be it could be something related to work, but it's something you're passionate about. But it's new. It's a new idea coming in. Um, it's a fire sign, so you have Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, which is you. You know, again, that wands, that passion. You're all about the passion. You're all about the fire. Uh, this is a spark. This is a spark of inspiration coming in, and it could be um, again with uh, a partner. It could be where you realize, you know, being in this, this position of going within and really doing some inner work on yourself, you might have this aha moment. You might have this, oh my gosh, this is what I need to do, or this is where I need to go, or, or this is, this is how this needs to play out or whatever. It's some spark. It's some type of new beginning for you, uh, on a path of what you're passionate about or, um, on, a on a, um, on a new idea, you know, again, that spark of inspiration, and it could have something to do with your work. You could maybe meet a person through work. Um, this could be that, that's that spark of, oh my gosh, they're right here all along type of thing. You also have the devil card, and this is a card of temptation. This is a card of, um, you know, feelings, uh, chained to a situation or chained to a person possibly that somebody might have some control over you. Um, it's giving up your control, you know, it, it is, um, not, it could be obsessiveness. It could be, you know, addiction, addictive behaviors, but there's some type of control that, you know, you need to be careful about, um, about giving your control over to somebody else. You need to be in control of you, of you. And I think that could be where your enlightenment is coming in. So be careful of a smooth talker that comes in. And it, again, it could be that Knight of Wands because they're very likable. These not, these people are in that, and they're not bad people. It's just their characteristic. It's just kind of how they are. You know, they're, they're fun to be around. They're very, you know, the life of the party. They're really fun people. Um, but they can make you a lot of empty promises. Or say, I'll be here tomorrow, and then that you find out that they're, you know, 10 states away tomorrow type of thing. Um, traveling salesmen is, you know, um, they have a girl in every port type of thing is what I think of. You have the Page of Swords here, too. And this is, this could be a new, um, a new person coming in. This, this would be a younger energy if it's a new person. Um, and they, they would be very, um... Gosh, they're sharp with their tongue. They're not really the, the nicest probably to be around. They're very sarcastic. I get a very sarcastic vibe from this card. Um, and very, maybe a little narcissistic-ish. So again, there's, there's, since these are all tied right here together into this really think about what you want, I would highly suggest that you really think about what you want and have be on the lookout for these characters to come into your life and know that they can suck you in really easy and promise you a lot of things but they won't follow through with it you know you want you want some solid foundation you want and again if you want to go out and have fun they're the people but don't don't fall for them because they won't be around then you have the page of cups and that's that could be a new offer of love the page is a romantic. The page wears his heart on his sleeve. The page is new, uh, naive. So this could be somebody that, that maybe has never been in a relationship before. Um, it's a 
a water sign card. So they're very emotional. They're very intuitive. Um, it is Scorpio Pisces or uh, Cancer possibly coming in. And again, what draws me is this moon. Because this card, the moon's, you don't see the moon, but you do in this card. And I think that's the only other card you see the moon in. Oh, you can see it behind her. That's a crescent moon, though. This is a full moon. Yeah. So that ha that you know may have some significance by the next full moon. Um, I'm not quite sure when that is. I know we have a new moon. Mm, I think it's the tenth. So that would have already have passed. So look for the full moon energies possibly maybe meeting somebody um, that would be more. If you're looking for romance and you're looking for maybe a little more stability, the Page of Cups is, you know, again, but it's new energy. It's a new person coming in. And it's also a, um, it could be somebody naive, somebody that may or may not have, have been in a relationship before. We picked one out of the Love Oracle, and this is Gifts. So let's see. Let's see where I can put that. I'll put that right there. And we are number 36. That's funny. Six and three is nine. Then get right under the nine of pentacles. All right. It says giving and receiving gifts is important to those who love lang whose love language is giving gifts. While there are people who actually do not like a value gift giving at all. Gifts can be physical, presence, or gift of time, quality, or surprising someone. It's nice to surprise your loved one when they don't expect it and can show them that you appreciate them. This card may be in indicating that a surprise of joy is on the way. It may be time to celebrate an important milestone in the relationship. So, upright is a surprise and receiving a gift, joy, and celebration. So, again... Um, you know, you could meet somebody at a celebration. The Nine of Pentacles isn't really a celebration card, but it is a card of, you know, your, your, your hard work and your commitment and, and how you got to where you got to. So, um, what I take from this is, uh, let me go back really quick because I had a thought and it just left my mind. Um. I think it's more of a, um, you know, some people can, again, the hooking part, if you have a fight and then you come back to that person and then they're, oh, like here and they give you a ring or whatever, you know, they, that type of energy, uh, that again, that passive aggressive, be careful of that, um, be careful of that energy. That's kind of what I get with the gifts. I mean, you may be getting a nice gift, and I hope so for you. That's wonderful. Um, but be careful of it coming with strings. Or be careful of it coming with um, something that you read into more than the gift was intended for, possibly. All right? All right, Leo. Interesting. I would love to hear how this resonates with you. Um Anything you need is in the description. If you'd like a personal private reading with me um, is there. Uh, my website's there and I would love it if you like this video to give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to subscribe and you haven't already, please do. I'd appreciate that. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful month ahead and good luck to you. Bye for now.